name is S.C. Lee. Yi So Jung in Korean, and this is how we pay the utmost respect. <laughs> You know, this is something, trying to speak right after Mr. Park. <laughs> Even when he, we usually um, watch his VODs in and, and other seminars. And sometimes I'm like, I'm so mesmerized into it. And I forget to speak after. So, regardless, I finished a bottle of water just sitting there for 10 minutes. <laughs> regardless, I am so excited. How about you? Are we? So again, who's here for the first time? Like any, any of the Atomi events is first time. So it's quite a few. So especially if it's your first time, then you don't really know what to expect. And, but you're intrigued. And there's something, something's telling you that there's something so different about this company from the others. Am I right? And for those who are not first time, I think every one of us, has taken the whole Saturday out of your busy schedules to be here. That's true. That's right. So which tells me that we all brought this fire in here. It could be, it could be your desire for a better life or more balance in your life or purpose-driven life, whatever it may be. You're here to know more and confirm that Tomi could be the very tool, the vehicle to take you right there. Am I right? Yes. Louder. <laughs> yes. So I can talk like this for a long time, but they only give me very little time. So I'm going to um, ask you one last question before we start. Until the end of this program, there's a tip. So since we're here anyways, let's try to make this more worthwhile by opening up your hearts with good pairs of listening ears until the very end of this program. It's a full package. So some of us came to just get a glimpse of Mr. Park. So handsome, right? So I saw some people leave. I'm like, okay, we saw him, we're leaving. <laughs> no, no, no. This is the full package. Please stay until the end of the program with your heart fully open. Can we do that? Yes. And you will get so much information, including the company itself and the compensation and the people, the community of Atomi. But there's one thing that I'd like to deliver today. If this is missing, then I can dare to say that the rest probably doesn't, matter, doesn't make any sense or it doesn't work. What can it be? Your products. Because she's going to talk about products. Products that call for repeat voluntary purchases, period. Do you agree? And Mr. Park just gave us a lecture saying, we are rewriting the history of network marketing with that in mind. If you have to force no one, but people don't use Atomi because they don't know about it. They don't do Atomi business because they don't know of it. So my job is not to sell toothbrushes. Some people think I do still. <laughs> but I'm relaying this thing that's burning inside me to let you know that there's something like this exists and you will have so much out of it. Okay? So one aspect of it, how is a Tomi? So there's a saying in our um, Korean community, three people get together, they talk about Tomi these days. Yeah. Yeah. It's hot. So how, they do, it, how do they manage? It's hard out there. It's very hard out there, but how does Atomi really manage to stay hot? Talk about it. Good. This background of the company could be one of the many aspects that contributes to the continuing success of Atomi. So Atomi is a platform business. That doesn't sound too new to you? So there's a lot of successful online businesses are platform, like Uber. What else do you know? Airbnb, all these things. Uber doesn't have, they don't own taxis, right? Airbnb doesn't own properties. It's a platform business. Same thing. Atomi doesn't own factories. So what do we do? We search 
for the most competitive product in the market and we carry it and we have the buying power. But how do we start though? We actually, Atomi was founded in order to carry the two products, the flagship products made by Comar B&H. Comar B&H, Comar Beauty and Health. And this venture company is a little special because it's the very first kind of its own. It, it's part public and part private. In Korea, it's either your public or private. There's never together. So it's the very first one of its kind. And Kerry is the public investor of it. And Coma Korea is the private sector of it. So if you, I know, I told you, no phones, no vibrate. Okay, that's fine. But when you get off this, I know you'll be Googling Komar Korea because this is a very fundamental part of it, of it all. So you will never see Komar brand. It's cosmetic and pharmaceutical product, uh, company, but they never have their own brands on the product. They take the recipe from maybe the big names like Estee Lauder, Chanel, Bobbi Brown, and then they make the products and then they label it and they sell them back to it so they can sell it at Sephora or the Bay. So the second largest OEM and ODM pharmaceutical and cosmetic company in Korea. So they come together and they have a very special baby called Komar b &H, and we're able to, Atomi was founded in order to t uh, sell those two products, Hemohem and Skincare 6. Back then it used to be five. That's how we started and what do we do? We bring them directly to members. We don't ask for anything but members, membership. It's free. Right? So if I went, oh, I'd like to get a box of Hemohim, and I cannot go to Komar B&H and say, can I, have a, uh, can I order a box of Hemohim and take it home? They will never open the door for you. But what we do is we group memberships, which is free. Not only in the GTA area, anywhere in the world where Tommy is at, and then we group by. So instead, we probably go, I don't know the units, probably three million boxes as a gate, we'll take orders and make a big order for them. Then what happens? The prices will go down, and then we're able to order at the comfort of our home as if you're ordering probably 3 million. Probably there's an MOQ of 10,000, but you probably have to pay multiple times more if you're ordering just one or two for personal uses. So Atomi is a hub of a distribution, and that's all they do. No overheads. So that way, there's a lot of money saved in the chunk of it. And also, um, I'd like to start the product lecture with the Hemohim product that I just talked about. It's one of the two flagship products that we start off with. So Hemohim might be something very new, especially if you're not very, um, if you're not very used to oriental herbs. If you taste it, if you smell it, you'd be like, oof, I don't know about this. Um, you, might have, uh, you might have just run into it, but in Korea, Three years in a row, 2014, 15, and 16, it is the most sold single product, including services actually, sold an online direct sale in the whole country for three years. So for us, it's not new, right? Three years, and number four, I believe, was a skincare sick system. And I think it was number 17, was probiotics from Atomy also. So do you know, in Korea, do you know how abundant products are? So $10 foam cleanser here, it's already, the price is already competitive. If you go to Walmart, Costco, they're, you know, around there. But the quality is a lot superior. But you go to Korea, just, just walk outside your house, you see $5 foam cleansers, just slew of them, and they're not bad. So in order for any product to be sold the most sold in Korea, it means a lot. So you might be new to it, but no, they're already doing very well. Do I need to say anything about anything else about the products? <laughs> so Hemohem. So from the name Hemo, you might think that okay, so maybe it's got to do with the blood, hemoglobin, yes. So what it does is it strengthens and activates and stimulates the immune system that we already have built in. Our body's a miracle, right? It's already built in, but oftentimes we're stressed. And we eat a lot of instant food, junk food, lack of sleep. Those things kill off what we already have built in. 
And what happens is that in average, on average, 1,000 to 5,000 cancer cells gets created in our bodies daily. Everybody. 1,000 to 5,000 every day. You're not shocked? <laughs> I was so shocked when I heard it. And their immune system, with, without you even realizing, they're going around and attacking those cancer cells and bring it down. And number one, the biggest cell out of all is called NK cells. It doesn't have to be ordered by your brain. It's going around constantly, whether you're eating, reading, working, it's going around looking for those pathogens and then kills it. It's a very powerful uh, tool that we have built in. But what Hemohim does is that it really activates. Okay? So for the cost less than that tall, skinny latte you just picked up this morning every day, it's less than that every day. Is this the product that you have to take it or have to really think about it for a long time? Just take it. <laughs> you know, if you're looking at the price, you should really think that, okay, what else am I really spending on, right? Like coffee and things like that, those little money. So something that's uh, functionally approved for the first time in Korea, this product has the highest repeat purchase rate. And then you know, you will hear so many testimonies about this product. And who's it good for? There's a list of things. I'll say everyone, young, old, men, and women, everybody can benefit from Hemohim. And moving on to red ginseng. If I had time, I'll talk about this Korean history behind it. But <laughs> since I don't, red ginseng and white ginseng is actually the same thing. So red ginseng is white ginseng brewed, steamed, and dried and actually has more. So once they did that, they realized that they have more ginsenocides. Ginseng, ginsenocides. Ginsenocides is the reason why you go for red ginseng. Has anyone heard of red ginseng? Because I'm so used to it. It's $1.5 billion industry in Korea alone. And we're a very small country. And everybody is taking, either taking red ginseng or they want to take red ginseng. It's one or the other. But there's, there's so many brands out there, but one of the main brands, they usually come in a liquid form. You've probably seen that in like, Korean people's houses on the table. There's a little spoon and you're supposed to make tea maybe. And it's open, closed, open, closed, and it's liquid. It's been impossible so far to get rid of water out of your red ginseng product. So what's so different about this Atomi? What kind of value does it bring it? First, it's 100% pure red ginseng. They have patent. They basically have a room with a really, really strong wind. Okay, that's my level of science. But they get rid of all the water as much as is possible, not even 0.001%. No water, and then they collect the granules and make it into spherical. There's two patents related to it. At the same time, the genocide, as long as it's more than 0 0.8, apparently they consider you as a red ginseng product. So I took this uh, red ginseng candy. No, maybe, you know, I don't really want to take red ginseng, but maybe uh, it's good for me. And I look at it, it was 0.04% of red ginseng, so those things don't count, right? But regularly, if you look at any leading brands in Korea, probably 5 to 8 milligrams per gram is, is genetic. That's general. But in this, a Tomy brand has 20 milligrams. So it's up to maybe like four times of the regular products that's most sold in Korea. And the price is about half. So as a consumer, as a consumer, even if they don't pay me anything, is this, and let's say it's sitting on a shelf with a lot of other brands of red ginseng, is this something that you reach out and grab? What do you think? Four times more ginseng size and half the price. 100% with all the patents backed up. If yes is the answer, then your business is no problem. Because that's what we do. That's what we do. If the products of Atomi are the ones on the shelf that you reach out, even if it doesn't pay you anything, then we call for what? Voluntary repeat purchases equals residual income, and then everything else should be <laughs> perfect. Right? So, Red Ginseng, moving on. Alaska E Omega-3. So, the Eskimos obviously eat a lot of fatty fish, and the Belgian scientists uh, from Belgium, they found out, oh, so why, how? And they realized it's the fish they eat. 
So omega-3, I don't need to tell you, there's a list of good qu uh, quality they call for, and mainly it's good for uh, your heart, and it kind of stops from those uh, sticky, sticky blood clots to create. You know how dangerous blood clots are? I'm sure some of you do. It travels, if it forms, it gets sticky and it gets, um, it travels around your vessels and it sticks somewhere. So if it sticks on your brain or sticks somewhere, and that's when uh, the emergency happens, okay? So having a good circulation deals with a lot of possible diseases in the future. And omega-3, there's so many out there, but oh, the quality of it, a lot of it suffers. Um, they use Pollux from Alaska. So always pick the omega-3 from the fish that's small, from the bottom of the food chain. Because as it gets bigger, I remember I used to buy those things with a seal. Uh, oh, it's Canadian omega-3 when I used to travel back to Korea. Um, they are more exposed to heavy metals, so you don't know. So from the smaller, the better fish. So this Pollock is at the bottom of the food chain. It's from Alaska. And actually, it's very, it's half, not even a half of size that are uh, from what I used to take. So before, I'll take everything else, but omega-3, you have to look at it. I'm like, that thing's going to stuck again. And sometimes it kind of has a fishy smell throughout the day. And I never finish the whole bottle. And it's oil. So this one has vitamin E and turmeric to make sure that it's not oxidated. So it's clean. You know, just check it after a couple of months. Cut it up and check you know. And if the other one, you're, you still have some sitting in your closet, just open it up and try to cut one up. If it smells, uh, you know, like this thing's not going to do any good for you. Throw it out. <laughs> <laughs> I told me probiotics. So our guts, intestinal flora is actually, so you, people think that probiotics only take it when um, you have bowel movement issue. Actually, no. 80% of your immune system lives here. So it's also called second brain. It does signals and all the stuff. So if it goes out of rack, then you're actually uh, risking a lot of things linked to it. So it's not just a bowel movement. So it's the immune system that's in there. And also, if you're shopping for probiotics, which I have in many organic stores, they usually carry one or two, just handful at the most. Because probiotics is not just one kind. There are many, many, many kinds. It does different things to your body. So it's better if you have more strains of probiotics that you can take. And I've seen hundreds of dollars for a product because it had a lot different strains of probiotics. And I look at this one. It's 10 types plus. I think they keep adding things in there, including kimchi yusangyun, kimchi probiotics. It lives all the way down, and it's coated so that it's, uh, it's strong against acid. And also, uh, it's in the powder form, okay? So it's, it's just tear off the top and then just chuck it back, and even the kids love it. That's something, again, for everyone. Young, old, men and women, I recommend it for everyone that we know. And it's 20 billion probiotics. Don't get it, don't get it mixed up. It's actually 3 billion at the time of expiration, okay? And lastly... I told me pure spirulina. Spirulina means spiral in Latin. So it's micro blue green algae from Kona, Hawaii. It's the best grade from there. Now they even, uh, they, they, you can grow it in your room, actually. I've seen facilities, they grow spirulina because it becomes so popular, even though it's one of the first oldest life form in the, in the earth. It's the very first superfood. It's not something that's trendy right now. So you can actually grow this. I have seen people do it. And then uh, there's cheaper spirulina and everything else too. So I Google Hawaiian Kona spirulina. There's not many. Okay, 100%. And the water has to be clean, warm, fresh, and alkaline. Okay, and why do they call this a superfood, the next future food source of the humankind by HWO? They even actually put this in the space route by NASA because 60% is protein and the absorption rate is 95. 60% protein is actually higher than chicken, soybeans, and beef. And more than 60 different nutrients, including five very powerful antioxidants. Okay, so what is it good for? Your skin beauty and antioxidation. Those two things. So I always put it in the smoothie or just uh, take it as tablets. Spirulina has just hit us um, just a few months ago. 
It's been sold out, but it's restocked. A wonderful, wonderful regime to, to add to your daily routine. Okay, so this came up a little earlier than I thought. <laughs> Two years ago, I was actually as intrigued as you. So what do I do? I leave everything for 10 days. I went to Korea to look into this. It, the intrigued sensation became, oh, how, but how, 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 how? And then I have this group of uh, consumers wanting to take this as business. I got scared, so I had to go to Korea and look at it with my own eyes. That was two years ago, right? And I went again a year after. So today, like you're so lucky because I had to spend thousands of dollars to go and do this. But a good chunk of Korea Atomi is here today. So please do not overlook today's opportunity. I really hope you see what I see, what some of us see. It's been nothing but fun, meaningful journey. And you'll be asking at the end of this seminar, get all this information and ask yourself and each other, is this time to Atomi or what? Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs>